Alrighty, y'all, we're going to be making this um, makeup clutch from this Nightmare Before Christmas fabric. And to get started, we need two pieces of each, two for the lining, two for the outside. And I measured mine 10 inches long by about 6 inches wide or high. So just make sure you have two of those each. And then we're going to have a little piece for the little loop that the D-ring is going to be on. I'm just using some snaps that I've had forever. Those are going to hold the wrist piece on. You're going to need a half inch D-ring. And any of that stuff can be purchased at your local Hobby Lobby or, you know, craft store. I've got a zipper here. and My zipper is a little short, so I cut four pieces to make zipper ends. And I've got some interfacing and a piece for the wrist band. So the first thing we want to do is sew those little ends on that zipper. I don't have any particular length. I just wanted it to fit. So I cut about two and a half inches in length. And if I need to cut it down, I can cut it down. But my zipper was just a few inches too short for the bag measurements. So I'm going to sew these on upside down. And then I will turn them and press them together and then just sandwiching that zipper in there to hide the the end pieces and make it a little longer for the purpose that we need it for. All right, and the next thing I'm going to do is get my little toolbox out. It's got my presser feet in it. I'm going to get the zipper foot out for this um, Singer 201K. And so the zipper foot on this vintage machine is really neat. It has a little slider on it. You just loosen that screw up in the back there and slide that foot to either side. It makes it more convenient instead of having to move the foot around. To sew a zipper on, it's it's not a big deal. It's not as scary as you think. I used to be terrified of zippers, and the first time I did it, I thought, wow, I can't believe I was able to do that so easily. But you just, the way I'm doing this here is I'm sewing the lining part on first, and then I'm adding the outside, and I'm using the line, the stitch from the back of the lining piece that I sewed on to, as a guide to sew the outer part of the bag on and if you need to undo that zipper as you go you can it, it will still get in the way even with a zipper foot it makes a little lumpy you know impression on the fabric and it's hard to sew that way And there you have it. That's what it's going to look like when it's all laid out and you've got all the pieces on there. And the next thing I'm going to do is just take my zipper foot off and um, reattach my regular sewing foot. And then we will begin the next step. I just want to say that this is my first time owning one of these vintage machines and having so many parts to it. Presser feet and all the bells and whistles. And it takes some getting used to. It is a little different, but I absolutely love it. Love the way it sews. Love the way it reacts to my sewing. And it is just really an awesome machine to have. So the next thing I'm doing here is I'm going to press the fabric for that little loop. I'm not doing any turning or anything like that. I wanted to make this an easy project for beginners. So I am just, I have a piece there that I cut probably about an inch and a half to two inches wide. And and it's almost like making bias tape. I'm just folding over, pressing on the sides, and then folding that in the middle, and I'm gonna sew down both sides. All right, so the next thing I wanna do once I've got that D-ring in that loop is I wanna sew the end of the loop so it doesn't come apart, doesn't move around when I'm attaching it to the bag. All 
All right, the next thing you want to do is open that zipper up. And if you've made zipper ends like I did, you can pretty much open it up all the way. And you want to match the right sides together, the right sides of the outside of the bag and the right sides of the lining. And just do a little bit of pinning. Don't go nuts with your pins. Don't empty your pin cushion. And with the lining part, I'm going to use the two pins that I put on the bottom to mark where I want the opening for turning. So you'll see that I'm just going to make a little opening so that I can fit my hand in there and pull that bag out. And with this not having a lining, that's going to be really easy to do. So I'm going to sew all the way around, starting at one side of where I want that hole to be and ending at the other side of where I want the hole to be. Alright, so the next step before you turn it is to clip those corners and I just trimmed up where it was a little uneven. And then we're going to turn it and I'll use, you'll see here in the clip, I will also use a dowel to kind of poke those corners out. That's especially important on the outside of the bag because it's really hard to get those corners right once you've closed everything up. The inside of the bag is actually going to be opposite to that so the corners aren't so important there. So I'm going to take that opening and I'm going to press it and then I'm just going to sew it closed, top stitch it right there closed. You can do a blind stitch if you want to. I, I just don't find it necessary. I, I like to do it this way. It's quick and painless and gets the job done. All right, so now we're going to make that little strap that's going to go on the bag, and um, Daisy wanted it to be removable, so I'm going to do it the way her bags were, and this is going to take a little practice. I'm going to try one of these again and, and, and work on that strap, but basically what I did was just fold it down to fit that half-inch D-ring to fit through that half-inch D-ring, and I sewed down both sides to give it that kind of give that illusion that you use two pieces of fabric for this so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew those little snaps on there and this was a pain in the behind to do so I'm really gonna try to work on a different technique with this but this kind of how hers was on her bag it folded over and snapped I'm just not sure how they held it. Maybe it took another set of snaps on that side, but it still worked out okay. All right, so there you have it. There's our little makeup clutch with the little wrist strap. And pretty easy project to do for beginners. This all in all cutting time, everything takes probably about an hour. Not a really complicated project. Peace y'all, bye bye.